Good evening, teacher. Hello, Ricardo. How are you? Fine. And um, it's a uh, beginning the, the the week. It's uh, 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 after the weekend. Uh, the, I I I take a a, a long rest <laughs> on the Sunday. Oh yeah. <laughs> How was your weekend? It's uh, very um, uh, busy in 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 other way because I I I had to pick up my uh, some relative in the airports uh, 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 twice <laughs> then uh, on Sunday. <laughs> Two times. Two times, yes. Oh man. Yes. <laughs> What's tight about? <laughs> This is the, this is the season for the the relatives because came to to share the the in El Salvador the 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 uh, the uh, Merry Christmas the Christmas. <laughs> oh, they're going they're going to celebrate. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. And they are relatives of your of your son, you say. Yes, uh, the relative in, in two. Uh, yes, uh, I have to to twice uh, the care come and to the uh, go uh, twice the gone. I gone to the April twice. Uh, twice. Why two times? Why did you have to go two times? Um, in the in the morning and in the the uh, and the. In the light, the beginning of the night because uh, it is seven uh, the seven o'clock at night uh, I had to 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 pick pick them up. <laughs> oh man, that's boring. That that's from Ilopango to the airport. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. No traffic. Mm, not uh, really because. Um, in the in the early in the when is the opposite the the the, the traffic because the the, the many person that uh, come back to the 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 beaches. Oh, from the beach, yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes it's true. It's true. Okay. Yeah. And and the, where are they staying in Ilopango? Uh I live in front of the Air Force in the Bobo Residencia Boca de la Paz, in front of the Air Force. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And today you worked? Yes, today I, I, I had to work. <laughs> And we saw any, every day they resolve the, the many different kinds of problems. What what is it that you do in the company? Um, I am in charge of the quality control and the raw raw materials and the control the raw materials and the quality of for raw. what? For what? Cotton and polyester. This is an all raw material for for the, the make a, a yarn. I, I make a yarn because I I, yeah. I, I, I work in the spinning department. Oh, okay. So it's a textile, correct? Yes, it's a textile uh, mills. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it, it's located in um. It's located in Ilopango in the boulevard. Uh, yes, at the at the end because it's the from the in from the aduana terrestre and the uh, and the um, beginning the the Apollo is a uh, is a uh, in, in the uh, Panamericana Street. Uh, it's on the Panamerican Street. So the Panamericana in yes. front of the aduana terrestre. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. By the by, the super selectos no. It is a more 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 ahead. It is a, a oh, I think I think I know where it is. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Cherbin William. The the next yeah. the next place is is a uh, Iusa. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I think. I, how is the traffic there now? 
not really because it's uh, near from my house. I uh, I drive only for eight minutes from my house to. Oh really? Oh, you're you lucky. Yes, 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 yes. I don't. <laughs> it, it's a uh, lost the the, the straight for drive. This is it's it's okay for me. <laughs> yes, it's oh, okay. That's good. All right. Welcome, Carla Rosa. Ruth and Gio, how was your weekend, guys? Was good. Thanks. Was good. Did you do anything special or just a regular, regular weekend activities? Mm, yeah, just a regular weekend this time. Yeah. Did I you watch? Work. Oh, you work. Saturday. Saturday and like three hours of Sunday. In the bank? No, at home. Oh, okay. Did you watch the um, Mike Tyson fight? Yeah. <laughs> I watched it, but I, it was like just hugging. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, I mean, at least Mike Tyson didn't disappoint me. He was good. No, the he other boxer had was, the, the opportunity to knock out the, the... Yeah. The other boxer was smart. He just said, hey, man, I'm going to make $5 million or whatever for... He got that. tired very quickly. Yes. But Mike Tyson was awesome. He was good. Hey, he's in a good shape. He, like, from round one to round eight, he didn't stop moving, so he was yeah. good. He was in better condition than the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The YouTuber is surprised with the knockout. Yeah. yeah. I, I, wanted a, I wanted a knockout, and I think Mike Tyson deserved the knockout. He deserved it, but the other, the other fighter didn't, didn't let him. Did, did you see the interview when they told him it was a draw? Do you know what is a draw? Yeah, empate. Yeah, empate, right? When, when the referee, it's a draw. And then they asked uh, Roy Jones Jr. They asked him, "What do you think?" He said, "Yeah, um, I'm okay with the draw." Like, Yo, you stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it was. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Rosalena? How was your weekend? Sorry, I was sitting. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I finished my dinner. Oh, it was okay. Well, I was um, in running some errands with my son. Okay. Because he, he is almost, uh, how do you say that, is um, without clothes. He's, He's running uh, out of clothes. Running out of clothes. Yes. Yeah. That's good. You know, cuando se les está acabando alguien, digan algo, digan running out of. Running out of yeah, like clothes. running out of money, because running out of money. Because uh, he's very tall now, more than mm -hmm. he was. And uh, How old is he? 18. Mm. Oh, okay. And she, he needed um, some pants and some shirts and some something for the cloth uh, called, uh, for the cold uh, time. Or sweater, cold weather. Sweater, cold weather. A or sweater. Cold weather. Yes. Yeah. And oh. their size are very big now. XL or X, XXL or something like that. Now. Oh, okay. Okay. And where did you go? We were to Metro Centro. We were to Galeria. We were to La Gran Vía. We were to. We uh, went. Multiple, I mean, we went. We went. Mm -hmm. We went mm -hmm. in many places, was very tired. I could imagine. Oh, <clears throat> that's the good thing about, I, that was good for my mother because when I was a little kid, I liked rock music. So all I used was just jeans, white shirt or black shirts only. Yeah, that is, that is the, the way that he is too. Oh, okay. Because she, just that he see. Or his or his son was uh, black. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. 
the yeah. shoes, the t-shirts, the shirts, the, the all black. Okay. And you know, Saturday, there was a lot of traffic. Yeah. Yes, it's true. I don't know what happened in El Salvador Saturday, but it was crazy. Black Friday. Oh, yeah, it was the Black yeah. Friday. Yeah, that was the reason. Yeah, that's true. Hello, Ruth. How are you? Hello. How was your weekend? My weekend. Um, well, I, I went uh, to visit my grandma. Grandma. And said say goodbye to my uncles. Uh, they they come back to to you, you. Um, for at the after I went to visit uh my friend, and I took her the daughter to Bob um um to. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, you you want they are leaving your aunt she's leaving what what i'm sorry i heard that you want to say goodbye to your aunt my uncle oh your uncle okay yeah uh they they live in the u.s in the united states oh, okay uh -huh. um and Oh, I'm sorry. Talking, um, talking about the United. Oh, did you see the news talking about the United States? Three hundred and forty thousand new cases since Thanksgiving, since Thursday. Uh, when was that? Today. Uh, wow. Today was that. No, since Thursday. So, uh, since, since Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday, four days. More than a quarter of a million cases. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, I was. It's my uh, what's my birthday on Thursday. Oh, really? Happy birthday! <laughs> Thanksgiving was your birthday. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Happy yes. birthday. And thank you. Nice, cool. And, uh huh. Uh, on Friday, uh, in uh, the in my work. I I was free and I was on Thursday and wait you were free or, or you had the day off? Yes. I yeah I have day off. Okay, good. Nice. Um on on Friday in my work I I ate I ate to cake on Thursday. For me, it's a. You ate cake. Okay. All right, nice. All right. Cool. Okay, welcome everybody. Whoever has joined in, I see more people have joined. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we're back to normal. Uh, it's pretty much December now. Tomorrow is December. Yeah, tomorrow. Yes. I, I, I have a very big question. What's going to happen with the schools and private schools? What do you mean? Private schools? No, with private schools because, you know, ah, are, private schools. Are, are children going to go back to classes? Because in December is when you have to pay everything, tuition yeah. and, and this and that. But mm -hmm. if, if children aren't going back to classes, nobody's going to pay tuition. I have heard that um, they will begin in February. February, but it's still in online. No pressure. No press. Pres pres presential. Okay, presence. Presence. Okay. No, but my question. It, do people still have to pay tuition? Yeah, they have to. I, I mean, okay, I understand the tuition, but a complete full tuition? I don't, that's not cool. Really, I don't know, but uh, I, I have heard some, some workmates that they, they saw that, they, or my, I mean, I, they said that they, 
they have to pay the complete quota. Yeah. I mean, I imagine schools are going to say yes, but it's just, we have to wait to what the ministry has to say. The ministry, <laughs> the education board. I think it's I think, I think that the reality. Our reality and activities has to keep going somehow. No, yeah, I understand that, but um, but imagine you pay a lot of tuitions, tuition because the schools they pay the facilities, but you're not using the facilities. So I think schools <laughs> should be a little bit more open to reducing. No, the but costs. but if you think they have to invest in this space more in um, that kind of technology like uh, internet, uh, uh, some base or or platform for connect a lot of people at the same time. It's not the same use, but they are using some utilities. Well, they are, they are, but um, but still, I, I think they're saving more money. They're saving more money like this than to be using the facilities because they're not paying. It's relative. Yeah. Because this kind of platform are expensive too. Well, yes, but yeah, okay, but also remember that they're not paying the internet. Everybody has the internet. All they're doing is they're paying. Uh, I'm telling you this because I work in Google, and uh, do you know how this? Do you know how the the system works? A little bit. Okay. Um, where do you work, Rosa? I am accountant. Okay. Actually, uh, I work in a hotel. Oh, you work in a hotel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine, I imagine you have a personal email. For, uh, you have a company email, correct? Yeah. Okay. So then the company email, that's how Google makes their money. Uh, and their competition is Microsoft. So what happens is your hotel comes and he t they tell Google, A, I want to have my own domain. I want my domain to be david.com. I no, have. You can, you can get it. You can get it. Yeah. Yes. And then Google will tell you, great, how many employees do you have? I have 100. But out of this 100, I only want 20 to have access, full access. The others, they just have the normal basic email and, you know, et cetera. I mean, you have privileges but the company pays for every domain for every domain so maybe in that yes that is an investment of the school because they have to they have to invest for example my niece she studies in guadalupano i think and they have a personal email from guadalupano and the domain yeah. is true mm -hmm. yes but, but 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 the the, the most uh, Private college, college, I'm working with with the platform Google Meet. Yeah, but they use a, a special dom, 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 domain 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 like uh, use use Google, no? Yes, but um, they must they must get a really big discount because Google gives discounts to education. Mm -hmm. yes. So, so if they ever tell you, you know, oh, but we invest, oh, come on, you get a discount for education, <laughs> if not free, because a lot of, a lot of people get it free in, in the United States. Imagine the big companies like Coca-Cola, they have like, I don't know, 300,000 employees in the United States. And imagine every employee has a domain and you pay around 20 you pay between 10 to 25 dollars per person so can you imagine for that for a, a month. month a month yes a month. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah i see that the the competitor or uh, compet competitor of of microsoft is google yeah google have a lot of uh, platform with a platform like a software accounting accounting accounting, accounting software yeah. Then they will have I don't know competi competitor with with the I don't know with the SAP or whatever that the and then there's a lot of opportunity to but right now that the old old company use most uh, I think 
the use the most common I mean, using like a uh, using is is I don't know uh, common to use uh, with with Microsoft. Microsoft have a monopoly. Yes. The, mon monopoly. Mm -hmm. mon mm -hmm. Monopoly or is it? A monopoly. The, the thing is that Microsoft still has Office and, and everybody's used to Office. Uh, yeah. so, and Google has Google Sheets, which is similar to Office. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, in security, in security, Google is the best because Google has never ever been hacked. Even Apple has been hacked and Google with, with the cloud. Google hasn't been hacked yet. Mm -hmm. The hackers are from Google. Yeah, that's what people say. <laughs> Maybe the hackers are from Google. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, no. the, the, there are a lot of uh, uh, school use uh, Google. I don't know. My son at the time use uh, Google. Have a uh, other 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 program uh, that is compatible compatible with the uh, mm -hmm. Microsoft. He use uh, like a. Uh, is Word, Excel, or another but is not Excel. Is the song? It's called Google. It's called Google Sheets. Uh -huh. But if you use it, it's the same thing. It's the same format, basically. Yeah. Basically, the same format. You can use to relay whatever information to Excel or or Word. It is the same, but you use the, the same. I don't know. Code, code the idea, the idea. The idea of, co of codification, no? Yeah. In my job, I have to speak with the with the administrators of the domains. So I get like this big list from, from Google United States. And they tell me, can you get a hold of the phone number or address of these people? And it's very interesting because sometimes I have to call some very interesting companies. <laughs> One time I call, I had to call WWE, you know, the wrestling. Mm -hmm. WWE? And what is that? The wrestling. Oh, yeah. And, and the cool thing is I have access to that. And I said, yeah, when I opened it, yeah, he saw Vince McMahon, CEO, and his phone number and email. And, and I was checking if all the, because all the employees have, so I was checking that maybe a Triple H at <laughs> WWE, but on on. <laughs> only the administrators. <laughs> yeah, I have called baseball teams a lot. Even Method, I mean, like at Metallica.com. Let me see who's I'm, who's administrating <laughs> them. Yeah, because sometimes they, they leave their phone, but they leave their phone numbers. That's cool. Uh, I met the SCMon.com. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got Javier Simon's phone number. <laughs> but they will kill me if, if I call him. <laughs> it's true. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. The next five minutes, all the police is in entrances of your house. Yeah. No, you know, working working in a call center um, is very, is very interesting and, and very risky too for companies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Have you heard about call centers that they're very strict that, man, I, you can't even have a little piece of paper or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason is, is obvious because sometimes it depends. Like, for example, where I am at, I don't see credit cards. I don't. But... Um, some people, when they see credit cards, it's very difficult because you have to give me all your information. Yes, for example, if you look in a hotel, you need the, the information of the credit card of yeah, the you, client. And, and you have and to give me the security of... numbers. There was a case here of an um, agent in Sykes. The Interpol went to look for her. Imagine that the Interpol, because he was very he you know he he was very stupid because he had the credit card number of um from an old lady, and you know in the United States, in the United States, people everything is credit cards, 
everything. So when they get their receipt, they say, ah, oh, how much do I have to pay today, this month? Oh, $8,000? Oh, they just deposit. And the majority of them, they don't even look anymore at, at what they spend $8,000. Or I imagine they only look at the big things. So what this agent in Sykes, you know where Sykes is, right? Yeah. yeah. It's um in Boulevard de los Proces, no, it is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what this stupid guy did, since he already had her information, he would ask like for small things, you know, like Pollo Campero online. <laughs> yeah, he would start buying little things like $5, $6, that, you know, people wouldn't, I mean, even they must have said, when did I order fried chicken? Oh, well, $6, $6. But then when he saw he would never get caught, he started upgrading, you know, buying shoes online and then this. Oh, so it came to a point that he started buying furniture, TVs, and everything online, like on Curacao, and then they deliver it to your house. So... Uh, I guess after a long investigation, of course, they, they understood. And um, yeah, they, they went to look for him. And, um, it, and he was so stupid that everything he ordered was to his address. <laughs> <laughs> so he, came um... in. he decorated his house with credit card, with a client's credit card. That's why, that's why, um, that's why sometimes people are very strict at the call centers, you know, because por uno pagan todos. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest scandal of a call center was in Mexico. That was terrible. There was a teleperformance in Mexico. Yeah. And then there is this, um, there was this account, it's called hotels.com, I think. Yeah. And what happened was this, that, you know, like they call, hi, um, I'm thinking I'm going to Mexico and I'm looking for a three-star hotel. And, you know, the client and, and the agent, oh, yeah, that's good. Hey, yeah, and you're going for vacations. Yeah, sometimes the client, they speak too much. You know, I just got divorced and I want to go party. And, you know, my friends tell me Mexico's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then other people just say, you know, hi, um, uh, I want to go to Mexico. I want a five star. I want the best. I want the sweet. And it's okay, blah, blah, blah. And can I have your information, please? And they give you the black card. So what happened was that all these agents, they started writing down their information. Like, for example, hmm, Ricardo Romero is going to be in El Tesoro Beach in Cancun. And he has a black card. And he's going to be there from December first to December eighth. So they would they would sell they would sell all that information to a cartel to carteles. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that Ricardo Romero, they were waiting for you. Carteles knew that you were going to be there, and they knew that you had a black card. So then they did a Sequestros Express. They they're called. Yes, it's yeah. dangerous. Yeah, they will keep yeah. you for a day two or three, whatever's necessary to clean out your credit card in, in, in ATN machines. So it was, it was a long, um, it was a long process. And, you know, they started investigating, okay, these people, how do they know? How do they know? They call hotels.com and they, you know, they started um, listening to the calls. So they started like, you know, adding the pieces together and then they realized that everything was coming from Mexico. Can, we, can you imagine that? Uh, they already had all your information. They were just waiting for you to come out so then they can kidnap you and take your money. Yeah, so that's why do not give, do not talk to, <laughs> do not talk to, uh, to agents, people. Don't, don't give too much information. And of course, all those people, I mean, uh, Teleperformance got a very, very big, very big, um, they got in very big trouble. Yeah. So that's that's how the call center business works. But other than that, it's pretty interesting. It's nice. 
Okay, let's start. Let's do what we're going to do today. We're going to do knowledge check. On Friday, we did by the time until before. Remember using time? Something in the past that you changed. Like, remember, uh, until I was seven years old, I, start, I stopped using Pampers. Ah, I'm joking. <laughs> No, it's, it's, you know, it's possible. I, I've heard of special cases. Yes. They remember the old scene. <laughs> I had a cousin that I think until he was like 13, 14, he stopped drinking from the bottle milk. But my aunt, she was very like overprotective. She still is. <laughs> so my mom told me, she, she told me that he used to drink from the bottle until he was 11. I'm like, really? <laughs> and it's possible. Um, that's what we did on Friday, remember? When I was 15, I stopped playing with toys. Or until I was 15, I stopped playing with toys. Certain toys, certain toys. Um, that's what we were doing on Friday. So we're going to, I'm going to share my screen. All right, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, we have, yeah. we yeah. have little, seven, eight examples here. Eight sentences and eight examples. So let's see which one fits best. By the time I was 15, I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. Does that make sense? Uh, I learned how to communicate better. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Yes, that's true. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay. Okay. That one makes sense. Let's let's read the other ones just in case. I had learned how to take care of myself. That one also makes sense. Um, I learned how to get along better with people. That one could also be right. I had never saved any money. That one, I mean, they all could be right, so don't worry about it. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. Oh man, I hadn't understood the importance of good health until I was like 38 or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, I, when I was 25, I could eat like 10 pupusas and now I eat 10 pupusas and the 10 stay in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. It happens. Okay, number two, it says, until I started working part-time, what do you think this one is? I didn't appreciate my own country. It doesn't make no. sense. I had, I, be, never saved any money. I, I had never saved money. Maybe I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Until you started working? Or I think this one makes more sense. By the time I was 15, I realized I wasn't a child anymore. Or oh, I began to understand the value of money. Until I started working part-time? Yeah, that one, that one could be good too. I have learned how to take care of myself. Yeah, you see, you see, don't worry if you get them wrong because there's a lot that can be right. But... Yeah. Some don't make sense. Like, for example, until I started working part-time, I learned how to communicate better. Like, hmm, is that my only option? Otras ven mejor, you know? Okay, um, number three. The moment I got my first paycheck, what did you do? I got drunk. Mm, I began, I, I to, began to understand the value, of money. the value of money. The moment I got my first paycheck, I was very stupid and went out and celebrated with my friends and spent all my paycheck. 
Could be I never save any money. <laughs> I had never saved any money. Yeah, that, that's possible too. As soon as I left home, I had learned how to take care of myself. Yeah, okay. I had learned how to take care of myself, okay. Once I started- I realized that I got some, a child anymore. Child anymore, yeah. Then what would by the time I was 15 be? The, when I was 15, I had learning how myself. to take care of myself. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yes. The platform says. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But remember, this is also common sense. Yes. <laughs> so don't worry if you got it wrong because just, I mean, you know, as long as it makes sense. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there are the platform some, says some, like some, <laughs> some, some sentences are no agree yeah, with no. the platform, but yeah, mm -hmm. but, but the English what you say? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I it says, <laughs> once I started sharing an apartment. Mm. What do you think this one is? Maybe I'm learning how to get along better, better, better with people. With people. Good. This is very common in the United States, like to to rent an apartment and, and share. Uh, After, really, you need to to take a, a patient, a really patient sometimes. Yeah, I you know now knowing me, I don't think I can I can live with someone. Hmm. Or maybe I can, but I would really have to be like only if you're a nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just be a nerd and clean, and that's all I ask. <laughs> okay. Next, after I began a relationship, what happened? I learned how to communicate better. Yes, I agree with you. The platform says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I yeah. The platform says after I began a relationship, I learned how to communicate better. I would have said I had never. I had to understand the importance of good health. I realized I wasn't a child anymore. That one could be it too. <laughs> I had never saved money. Yeah, That's true too, because when I had my first girlfriend, I didn't have any money to take her to the movies or anything. So I started saving or stealing from my mom. <laughs> Before I traveled abroad, <sighs> I didn't appreciate. I didn't appreciate, I didn't appreciate my, my own, country. own country. This is really true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true because sometimes you, when you live in El Salvador, you you say, "Man, my people are stupid. My people are dirty. My people are ignorant." When you go to another country, you miss your country. Yes. True. That's true. Until I got really sick. Yeah, the last one. <laughs> this one, yeah, I think, I think it's the only one I can say. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> all right, we got them all right. Oh no, no, the two. So which one's this one? Until I started working part time. I had never say any money. Mm -hmm. uh, this money, 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 money. I had never say any money. You see, that's slang. Money, money. Slang. That's slang. Friday we're gonna do slang. It's gonna be a slang class. <laughs> You know, I'm going to teach you, hey, what's up, man? Kick back. How's it chilling? 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> now we're going to do a listening exercise, okay? So nice. we're going to listen to Sally, Henry, Debbie. And then we're going to hear again Sally, Henry, and Debbie. All right. Okay. So let's listen to this. Fresh. Come on, come on, come on. It's a commercial for the competition. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? I mean, my laptop is an E core. It's an E five, so it has a good processor. I mean, for 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 Zoom, I have ten megs of of internet, and no one's using my. I mean, so I don't know why at this time. Well, you know, people actually say that internet is always going to be the slowest between seven and ten. Maybe because all people. That's when everybody uses. Using, uses. Yes, that's when everybody uses the or, internet. Or, or your neighbor stolen your Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <In> your, <laughs> Maybe it is no, true. No, no, I, 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 I always check. The password. <laughs> I always check, because during the day I have three. You put in, in the password. Paga Wi-Fi. This is the, the, the better password. <laughs> I, I stole la, la, the, the password of the my neighbor. I used to do that too. But 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 it's not good. It's annoying too. But you know what? I don't <laughs> think my neighbors. My... <laughs> I don't think my neighbors steal my na my 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 internet because it's only four. Four houses around me. Yes. And they all have internet. Three. Yes. I can hack. <laughs> <laughs> and during the day, I have three computers open. I, I'm, I'm on video. I'm on chat. I'm, I'm using a lot of internet, and I never have a problem. I never have a problem. Only in the at night. Let me see. OK. You see? Now it doesn't want to play. Refresh the page. I did. Refresh. Move, move the arrow a little bit at the at the right. Yes. A little yes. bit. Yeah. I, yes. Oh. Yes. Page seven. Hey, I, hey, I didn't hand. know that. The <laughs> hand. The hand. When you press the hand, you click. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. I didn't know that. It's not the arrow, it's the cursor. Well, it is an arrow. Yeah, the cursor. Yeah. Page 74. There you go. Can you hear? Exercise 4. Listening. Yeah. Okay. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together. And we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. 
Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. 2. Henry I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Okay, so number one, Sally, Rosalena. Mm -mm -mm. She learned Spanish. Okay, let's see. She learned Spanish. Henry, who was Henry? Uh, Ronnie. Henry. He and his brother went to a different college. Okay. And he was very dependent of his brother, correct? Yes. Okay. Debbie. She was the top student in her class. She was the top student in her class. Okay, let's, let's listen to the second part. Okay.
Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. 2. Henry I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know? I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. Okay, so Sally, in this part, part 1, Felt proud of. Felt proud of. Felt proud of. You know what feel proud of is, right? Have you ever yes. felt proud of La Selecta? No. <laughs> <laughs> I went to every stupid game they played. Selecta Playera, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Selecta Playera, yes. We feel proud of them. Yeah. Okay, Henry. Became more confident, felt proud of, or became more outgoing? Became more confident. No, more <laughs> confident and independent. And now we have Debbie. Yeah, and became a lot. Became a lot of more outgoing. Became outgoing, okay. So let me ask you a question here. Let's see, Vero, are you there? Yes. Vero, do you have siblings? Yes. How many siblings do you have? Two. A sister okay. and a brother. All right. And um, are you the youngest or the oldest? The oldest. The queen. <laughs> the queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> when... When you, when you three were little, who was the naughtiest? The, excuse me? The naughtiest. Naughtiest. Um, I don't know what the meaning of that word. Remember Santa Claus? You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Naughty. He knows if you've been naughty. He, naughty. Uh, like a sensitive Tra person. Travieso. Ah, that's me. That's really. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible, girl. <laughs> so I used to be the naughty one. Yeah. 
I used to be the naughty girl. <laughs> okay, good. Right. Yeah, let me write it okay, for you. And, and this time, I, I, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> I still <Yes>. am. <laughs> I still am. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. There was a group, I don't know if you remember them, they were called Naughty by Nature. It was a hip hop group. Naughty. They used to sing hip hop hooray, ho, oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Or they used to sing OPP. You down with OPP? Remember that song? It was very famous. Yeah. yeah. Ah, that song I remember now. Okay, yeah. That group they were Is called that, were you singing that song? I'm sorry? Naughty? No, that's the name of the band. Is that word Naughty, you Naughty. sing in the, that song? Naughty is the name of the band. Yeah, the band is Naughty ah. by Nature. Ba ah, Naughty by Nature. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Naughty, Naughty. And some people say it in a more perverso, like, oh, are you a naughty boy? Are you a naughty girl? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. I, so be teacher, careful. how do you say... Teacher, how do you say la autora intelectual de las travesuras? The mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> Me, that's the mastermind of, of all our travesuras. <laughs> Not in me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You were the mastermind of it all. All right, Doris. Hello, Doris. Are you there? Maybe not. Claudia Maldonado, are you there? There I am. Hi, Claudia. Claudia, where did you study high school? I studied at Colegio Bautista from kinder to high school. Really? In, um, in, in... You are from uh, Santa Ana? San Jacinto? No, San Jacinto, right. Um, it is the name of the college uh, or the... It's cool in Santa Ana too. I yeah, know. there's it's one. A, it's the same school in Santa Ana and San Salvador. And uh, Claudia, when did you when did you um, graduate? I graduated in 1998. In 98. Okay, Claudia, who was the hottest guy in your high school? He, no one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, there's, you know girls always say oh he used to be the hottest guy or like or like guys always say oh she's the one. hottest chick there's always one even yeah. if you like him or not there's always one yeah for no, example they, they... in my high school it was me <laughs> <laughs> or i i like to believe it was me but <laughs> no they were a few they were a few a uh, steven was one of them okay so steven was one of the hottest yeah, for some girls. All right, good. All right. No, but what I want you to say is the complete sentence. Steven was the hottest guy in school. All right, cool. And now you see Steven, he's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> a fat guy. <laughs> yeah, he's so fat. A bald, bald, um, bald, no teeth. <laughs> It happens. Mm -hmm. No, you know, in, in situations like that, that, that's how you say it. Hey, do you remember high school? Who was the hottest person in high school? Who was the, in your family? Who was the craziest? Who was mm -hmm. the, um, the biggest troublemaker? The smart. The <laughs> smartest. Yeah. yeah. Who was the smartest? Who was the quietest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's how you, that's how you practice. Okay, so um, do you have any questions? That, that's pretty much what we did Friday, but Friday we, we were doing something says how you were or something you used to do until, you know, and something that changed. There was, so you had a certain lifestyle before that changed by another action or by nature, you know. I used to be my mother's favorite son until the first grandchild was born. And then I disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, because I was the baby. So I used to be there. I used to be her baby mm -hmm. until my brother decided to have a baby himself. And then that baby, my, my nephew, he was my mom's number one. And I was a little jealous. <laughs> you a lot of the mother. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, mom, yo. <laughs> what about me, man? <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how we say, um, I smoked for 20 years until I said no more. And no more after that. Do you understand that, that that's what we're doing on Friday? Beatrice, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right. Tell me something about your past and it. when did it stop and why? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, tell me an experience you had on the past, an action you did on the past that you stopped and why? Let me give you an example. like. I had a boyfriend for two years until I saw him with my best friend. <laughs> okay. Hey, it, it happens. Yes. When we were three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, when I was in high school, I I used to I used to play basketball. But when I uh, begin to start to study at the university, I start to play basketball. Okay, now, very good. So you can say this. I used to play high school. And I'm sorry. I used to play basketball in high school until I got to the university. Okay. I used to play basketball in high school until... until until um, I started the university. Until I studied, the, I studied at the university. I started the university. I started at the university. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. You see, so that you made it easier. So you don't have to give like two sentences. So you don't have to say, I used to play basketball in high school, but now I don't because when I started the uh, university, I stopped. So those two or three sentences, you can make them all in one. Yeah, okay. you know, like I used to play basketball in high school until I started the university. Yes. I used to yeah. play Nintendo a lot until until the controls started getting more complicated. <laughs> you know, like before it was A B, A B, A B. And now it has the whole alphabet like A B. Start, select, select, start. X, Y, and then, and then this joystick, and I get yeah. confused. Before, you know, you, I used to play soccer, like kick, A, pass, B, block, A. Oh, now to pass, you have to press up, X, down, and all this complicated R1, things. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I stopped playing. And, and I think that games today are very boring. Mm. No, well, I, I watch my little niece. She plays a lot of Minecraft. Uh, yeah, what a boring game. Oh. <laughs> you have to oh. play, play of, uh, uh, Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, those are cool. But I, I tell my niece, why do you, well, that's boring. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> all you do is just walk and look. Oh, this is my room. I want <laughs> to put a table in my room. And that's game. And the, the, the graph. Tables, the crafting table. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mario Brothers was more exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I used to believe in Santa Claus until I discovered the terrible way. I used to the going dancing until I start working so hard. Oh, okay, until I started working. I used to go a party. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about you, Ronnie? Can you give me an example? Um, let me see. I used 
Um, oh yeah, he used to be a DJ, right? <laughs> yes, I just <laughs> I'm a DJ. Yeah. I I I use a a DJ job until my daughter born. Until my daughters were born, good. DJ yes. Ron and Coke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that those are time clauses, you know, until. And until. You, it, it's, not, it's not only necessary to say I used to. You can say until, hasta, you know, until I started paying taxes, I really started paying attention more to politics. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because you know, like more impuestos, more taxes, more time. More... Yeah, because I don't know if that happened to you. The, the first time you got your first paycheck, and you like you made numbers. Oh man! And when you receive it, it's like, where's the rest of my money? No man, welcome to paying taxes. Like really? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> okay, class. Um, thank you very much. Okay, have a very good Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Tomorrow. So let's, I hope we finish lesson one quickly so we can um, yeah. we can do slang classes. Okay. That's cool. I'm gonna teach you how to yeah, speak slang. Yeah. yeah. All right. Goodbye. Have a good night. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Very nice.